Jacoby, last year, uh, interior defensive line had a lot of guys rotating in and out, yourself included. Now that that position group has got a lot more guys from the portal, a lot no newer guys, now you're kind of more of the veteran. Yes, I guess now that you have more of a rotation, a consistent rotation, how has that been for you so far this spring and you getting a lot more snaps at that at that position? I mean, that's why you come to LSU, you know what I'm saying? So, like, like coming here, I already knew, like, we was going to be deep at defensive line. I was at the wait my turn. So, you know, a little bit, I kind of I kind of got in there a little bit. But, like, this year, I'm trying to take that next step. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I've been, that's what I've been waiting for. So, like, me being the old guy in the room, like, I'm the oldest guy in the room. Like, it's, it's, it's different. Because I'm so used to watching, letting everybody else go first, and then here go my turn. Like, nah, like, now, now me and Savion going first. Now I'm the old head in the room. I'm telling these boys that let's go. Hey, no, no hands on your hips. Let's go. We got to finish today. So, I mean, like, with the group we got now and everybody coming in, I still expect us to be one of the best defensive lines in the country. Last year, of course, at the beginning of the year, you see Mason Smith go down. Mm -hmm. That grants you a lot of the different reps, bigger role. What are you taking most from last year into this year? What's in the back of your mind that you want to work on or grow on? Shoot, I've been on Mason since I've been in, like, the ninth grade, tenth grade, so that's always been my little brother. So to see him go down, like, in the back of my head, I'm like, this this for him. Like, I'm, I'm doing all this for him. Like, even when he out there, you know, he, he still hurt, but he's still trying to do drills. I'm out here for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like that's my little brother. So, like, like, when he went down, it really hurt. But, like, on the sideline, you can't let that show. Like, you got you to gotta stay locked in. So, like, we, last season was for Mason, but, like, now Mason's going to be a part of this. Now we're going to take it to a whole other level. Was he able to give you any type of insider advice as he's on the sideline a little more? Kind of almost like another analyst, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, you'd be so surprised how smart Mason is. Mason knows how to play the run, how to do the pass. He can go to the end. He can be at the three tech. He can go to the nose. Like, so many, like him knowing how to do all those things, like one by one, it makes him like a, kind of like an on-field coach. Because he'll see something before I even see it. Like even, like, even now, like, he'll still be like, hey, watch out for the guard. See how you like? He's going to pull. So like you can't you can't you can't teach that he just he just knows that it's like second nature to him. What do you think LSU's defensive line is going to be able to do this season? You got Big Mason back. You got a lot of experience. Everybody seems locked and loaded and ready to go. I mean we got we got McCaw coming back. We got we got Jordan coming back. We got Mason coming back, and we still looking good today. Like you know what I'm saying? So like even with the little bit we have now, we 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 grinding through practice. Even with the little bit we have now. Like, I still think, like, once we get back, like, I'm, telling, I'm telling them boys every day, once y'all get back, we're going to be the best group in the country. And I remind them boys that every single day because, I, I mean, that's how I feel. That's personally how I feel about, about the defensive line here. You kind of touched on it at the front. Now you're the old head. Mm -hmm. What did you kind of learn the past few years from guys like BJ and Ali about I mean, how to lead? Watching, before I got here, watching Rashard, then getting here, watching Neil, watching, watching someone in my class, Jaquelin, do it. I mean, it's, I've, I've had so many, like, teachers, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like, those are still my brothers, like, they're my boys, but, like, they taught me so much. And, like, and sometimes, like, me and Jaquelin are bump heads, but, like, like me and Neil are bump heads. Me and Jaquelin are bump heads. I ain't never bump heads with Rashard, but, like, but, like, you know what I'm saying? But it's just them teaching me, you know what I'm saying? Like, how to, how to be, like, be, you know what I'm saying, one of the best D-tackles on the field. And that's what, I mean, that's what my goal is. But I know Mason has that goal, that Jordan got that goal, Savion got that goal. We all got that same goal to be in the best defensive line, like, you know what I'm saying, out there. Uh, can you touch on some of the new guys who've kind of transferred in or maybe are mid-year enrollees mm -hmm. that you kind of right away, like, oh, he belongs here. He's going to help us a lot this year. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They, they get used to it. Like, every day, every day, like, Paris, and so we got Paris and Jalen Lee out there. Every day they're making strides to do it the right way. Cause they've been so focused on like like uh, Paris came from Arizona. This ain't the SEC. Like they ain't the, like you know what I'm saying. They ain't. The, I don't know what conference they in, but that ain't that. We in the SEC now. Like I tell them every day, like man, it's just the little stuff that'll make the big stuff work. So like him making like him taking that right step. All right, that's all right. Bet. I mean, I, I was from the cuss, but all right. You know what I'm saying? Like like that look that like him like him is like it's different every day. Like first day wasn't that great. It's spring. Like, this is, this is what spring is for, so we can sit here, we can mess up, we can go again. So, like, every day, like, Paris and, and uh, Jalen, they're making, like, big strides in the right direction. So we can all be a group and we can all help each other. You know, how much more comfortable are y'all under Madhouse in year two as compared to year one? Oh, man, shoot. Coach House, I mean, like, like yesterday, me and Sa we were doing walkthroughs and Coach House walked over there. I was like, Savia, you wouldn't even talk to me last year. Like, so, like, we, we, we feel so much closer to Coach House, so now we, like, we trust him. Like, we see in a year what his stuff can do, like, doing it Coach House's way. So, I mean, like, the more we buy in, the better we get as a group.
Coven, what does uh, Jamar Cain say that you need to do to be on the field more? Like, what, what is the one thing he's been on you on for the whole year? And where are you at this year compared to this time last year? Being more consistent, you know what I'm saying? I always know, like, I can do it. But being more consistent and doing it on a consistent, like, Coach, me and Coach Kelly had a conversation the other day. He was like, like, I'm loving the way you can put plays together, not just one play and you're tired after that. It's putting play at the play at the play, and, that, and that's, that's what it, like, been my big focus. Like, how can I be better this year for the team? Like, and that's for me to be able to play a 10-play drive. And I might not, you know what I'm saying? It might, it might be hard, but it's for me to, like, just, just take that next step and to be consistent. That was my biggest thing this year. Jacoby, I think the biggest thing is that from 2021 to 2022, the defense went up over close to 100 spots in total defense. Mm -hmm. I guess from since you've been, you talked about being the old head, coming from one defense and now to a different scheme in their house, you talked about how comfortable you are. I guess to you, what made that defense strive so much better? And what made y'all during the season last year take that massive leap from 2021 to 2022? I guess like at first, like last spring, around this time last year, we weren't completely, completely bought in. But as the summer went on, we started buying in. The fall came on, we, we bought in. The season got here, we did stuff Coach Houseway. Like we bought all the way in. So that's what I think the biggest jump from 21 to 22 is like just, just buying all the way in and like, you know, I'm just being like, like, like every day, Coach House says, do your 111. We got 11 guys on the field. Every guy has to do their one job. And, we, and you know what I'm saying? That's really how defense works. Everybody do their one little job, we good.